Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Creatively Sandra. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. This is such a fun day to join. I have a box swap and this is Disween 2023. So this swap is hosted by Jamie over at Jamie's Colorful Kingdom. And he's done this swap before. It is a all month long Disney Halloween theme swap and there are 31 days of content. So each day a different creator, YouTube content creator, will be posting their video and it is a swap between all 31 of us. So as you know, swaps are a mystery of who's sending to you. You get to look at some preferences for the sender that, or for the person that you're sending to and make them a really cool box. I've had a box here for months, this has been killing me, but I had to wait till I had Halloween set up and kind of was just ready for that. <laughs> so thank you to my sender for being very patient with me getting to this and opening it. Um, today's my day. So like I said, video each day, they'll be posting at 8 p.m. each day throughout the month. And hopefully you've seen the ones up to now, but if not, those are all linked in the channel below. So you can go back and watch them and see some great content. The theme of this year's Disween swap was villains. So hence, I've got my Cruella shirt on, my Cruella ears, but we've got some fun Halloween going on here. So let's dive in. Oh, <laughs> this is the first thing I'm seeing. So happy Disween. I know who my sender is. I um, will show you that as we get in. Let's see the rest here. That's very fun. Um, <laughs> she painted the box and did some um, Mickey heads on there. So that's super fun. And this is what it looks like inside. Ooh, I see a handmade card and I bet there was some help with this card. <laughs> it says, Happy Halloween. And she's got one of my other favorites. I've got some uh, Queen of Hearts earrings on. They're very small, but one of my other favorite villains says, Sandra, so excited I got to shop for you. Hope you enjoy everything in the box. Just about everything was on your wish list. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Sarah's Disney Magic. I said she got some help with this, but maybe not. This is Sarah's card. <laughs> this is beautiful, Sarah. I appreciate the handmade card. We've got a sticker in here that she's just taped to here so I can reuse it. Oh, I think she did the same on the front. That's creative. That's so fun. So it's a Mean Girls and it's got the villains on there. So we've got um, Ursula, Evil Queen, Maleficent, and Cruella. That's awesome, Sarah. I love the little Mickey heads in here. That's adorable. So this is fun. Okay, let's get the packing stuff out of the way. And I see several, several packages. This is really fun packaging on theme. You did a great job. So look at the, um, the packaging here. Interesting. What is that? There's a bigger item down there that I'm I'm very curious what it is, but I got a couple of small items. Uh, let's start with the small. Let's start with the small. I love the orange wrapping paper. So I don't um, collect a ton of Halloween stuff. I've got a little bit and um, that's why we went with a backdrop instead of a bunch of Halloween lounge flies because I don't have them. But what I do love is um, villains. And so this swap was perfect. Um, I do love some of the, the very cute Halloween stuff. <gasps> oh, this is a um, mystery blind box. Let me get it open so I can show you what's in here. So these are the villains, um, and there is Snow White, there is Dr. Facilier, it looks like Ursula, and Maleficent. And then each of their um, princesses is in the, kind of silhouetted within their body or head or whatever the design is. I'm going to go ahead and open this right now and see what we got. That's super fun, a surprise inside a, side, a surprise. Let's see. I've got scissors. We'll go ahead and do that. Sorry, I've got a little bit of a, a sniffle. And I will try to not sniffle on camera. Let's see what it is. Put these scissors down. Ooh, it's Maleficent. I'm filming very strangely. I'm kind of far from the camera. Further than usual. There we go. 
Maleficent and Aurora in there. That is gorgeous. Ooh, that's going to be a fun one for my villains board. Love it. Okay, then we've got a package here. I don't know what this is. It feels, feels like a pin maybe too. It might be a jumbo pin. Ooh. Okay. It's more than one pin. It's something. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, this is the pink a la mode villains pin. I don't have this one. This has been on my wish list from Palm. That is awesome. I'm so excited. I have a couple of these. I have um, Dr. Facilier. I think, is it Hades I have? I have, um, oh, I have a couple of them. But they are gorgeous. These are beautiful three inch pins from Pink Olive Mode. I believe they are limited edition of 100. And so if you look at my palm, that's the size, three inch pin there, gorgeous. I love the, um, there's sparkle in this. So there's sparkle in the poison apple and her crown, both poison apples. So there's a poison apple down here and then they do like the little emblems all around are also poison apples. And then you can see the glitter in the other poison apple and in the crown. That is gorgeous. Sarah, thank you so much. I'm so excited to have this one. She's right. These are from my wish list. <laughs> and that's super fun. Um, that's one of the, the great things about doing these box swaps is you get to create a list. And you know how we all get gifts that... Um, it's kind of nice. Like I make my children now do those Amazon wish lists, and um, now uh, Elfster is a great resource. So that we do that for a lot of these swaps, and so you get what you want, but it's still a surprise because you put a bunch of things on there, you don't know what you're gonna get, and then some fun things are thrown in here too. Like I've got this diabolically delectable face mask, and that is the Evil Queen. These are so funny because. Like I got one before that was a um, Mickey Mouse and it literally had like the black part of his face, the white part and then the black part with the ears on the outside. It was like super creepy and scary when you put it on. So that's kind of fun. I can't wait to use that. Awesome. All right. Let's get some things out of the way and see what this is. Something is weirdly wrapped on the top. I wonder if there was a bump there. <laughs> or she's just getting some wrapping out of the way. Oh, this is a Funko, looks like. But let's see what's in here. And Funkos sometimes come like in the box when they ship them to you. And so it's nice that she um, shipped it that way to me so the box doesn't get messed up. This is awesome. This is Cruella de Vil. Very cool. One I don't have, also on my wish list. You know I love Cruella. And so in this set, you could get Cruella, there's Evil Queen, there's um, Lady Tremaine, Hook, and Dr. Facilier, and Maleficent. Let's go ahead and open it because I am an out of the box collector. I wanna make sure I don't miss a, um, Stand, but this one is on a stand. Oh, this is so cute. Look at her. She's got her cigarette there. She's got her purse open over here. See the little purse? Her shoes. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Look at those eyebrows. That is like super crazy. And then the back. Look at her coat. The details on there. This is so fun. I love it. I'm not a big, um, I don't collect 101 Dalmatians. I only collect Cruella, the villain. I'll collect some stuff that's like, um, you know, black and red and white, like the, the popsicle or something that's the Dalmatian spots to have kind of stuff sprinkled in the collection. But love, love, love Cruella as a villain. And um, Cruella is my favorite live action Disney movie. All right, we've got one more larger item in here. Oh, we got two more items. Ooh, ooh, okay, let's see what this is. Okay, I can't even imagine what this is. 
it's a weird feeling like a, like a, like a bag. <laughs> this is cool. I forgot about this. This is so fun. Okay, so this is a back packish style bag. Oh, sorry. There's so much noise with this. Okay, it is, um, I believe Pink a la Mode was selling these, but I think they are, who makes them? Oh, I guess Disney makes them. Okay, this is very cool. So Disney Villains, it's more of a, um, a canvas, almost like a messenger style bag. Let's pull it open. They flattened it out nicely for packaging, but it just um, pulls open. This is a great size, like the lounge fly mini backpacks I love this and I love the canvas style this is super fun so works just like the mini backpacks and you've got Cruella and Evil Queen two of my favorites and then Ursula who I am getting very fond of there's just so much cool Ursula pins and merch and then on the side here it looks like we've got some other villains so you've got a fabric that is including Looks like a little bit of Jafar, Maleficent, um, Ursula and Hades here. That's very cool. And then it's the same on the other side. Maybe slightly moved over so you get a little more Maleficent and a little less Jafar. <gasps> this is very cool. I just love the style of this. It reminds me of, um, if I haven't mentioned it before, like my affinity to up and Russell is my boys were scouts and I was a um, scout leader, uh, assistant scout master. Okay, so we've got a pocket in the front and I love, oh, that's what I started to say, that it's kind of like a knapsack styling on it, which I love. I like these um, buckles, I guess you call them, but I like that they're not, you don't have to unbuckle them to um, open that pocket. It is a snap there. Let's look at the inside. I think these are just plain on the inside, but let's take a peek. Also, here's the other nice thing. Look how far it opens down and then folds open. So it is plain on the inside, just plain back. Oh, but we have, okay, this is interesting. Let's see if we can see. Um, you have a big back pocket here and it's padded. Like you could put your tablet or something in here and that be safe you know, kind of like the laptop bags. So this is a nice padding. There is a little side pocket here that would kind of be like for a drink holder, but it's small. But you know what will go well in there? There's one on each side. My glasses, my little readers that I slip into every bag. And then, oh wow, okay. So there's front pockets too. So two pockets here that hold like your pens, you could slip your phone in there, and then also a zipper pocket. Okay, I'm impressed with this bag. I've never seen anybody open or show these, but I thought they were very cute. They have a bunch of different ones. I know Pink Ala Mode has them, and um, I want to say there's there's all kinds of characters, but I love this bag. That is definitely going to be put to use. That might be my fall bag. I was thinking about that, like, what am I going to carry? And I don't really have Halloween lounge flies. I have... Um, cosplay villains, which would be fun, but I kind of like this. The little bit more subtle, but super fun. Sarah, thank you so much. That is a blast. This is an amazing box, Sarah. You spoiled me. Okay, one more item in here, and I just ripped off the ribbon trying to get it out of the box. You've got a lot into this box. That is very good. I think, yeah, my boxes were a little cuckoo going out. I think I know what this is. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, I just was in a swap that was a pirate swap for Talk Like a Pirate Day, and I got one of these, but of a different character, and I was so excited. It was Captain Hook, and this is Dr. Facilier. So this is a Ravensburg... Ravensburg or Ravensburger puzzle. Let me hold it back here. So you have Dr. Facilier and then you have a bunch of other scenes of him. So, oh, we've got the frog. We've got Charlotte. We've got some voodoo stuff. We've got Tiana over here. We've got um, Naveen. Am I showing this right? 
Charlotte. Oh my gosh, this is a fun one. Ray. Oh, I love these. I got back into puzzles during COVID. I also do diamond dots, so I kind of go back and forth with my time. I haven't done a puzzle in a while, but I've got two new fun ones. These are so good. Maybe we'll do a video of a um, time-lapse puzzle <laughs> making. So probably do the hook first and then this one. I'll do them in the order I got them, but there are all the other villains. Like, look at this one of Ursula on the back. These are so fun. The problem with puzzles is I want to like keep them done. And I have done that where I glue it and um, hang it up. I've done it with just like the Velcro strips hanging it up. It's, it's kind of expensive to try and frame something like this. So I don't do that, but this is so fun. Sarah, I am so happy to have this. Okay, this is the best box. So I've dropped some things, but we've got the pins. So we've got a jumbo pin. We've got a mystery pin, we've got a bag, we've got a puzzle, we've got Cruella the Funko Pop, and we got a face mask somewhere. <laughs> I think I've set it down. What was your favorite item? Sarah, you killed it on this box. I love, love, love this. Um, Jamie, thank you so much for inviting me. This was a blast. Um, I'm glad I waited. Well, I would have liked to have this stuff anytime, so, <laughs> but it was fun. Um, the anticipation of opening this box and um, it'll be fun anticipating leading up to today in because I'm filming this earlier than the day I'm posting uh, but thank you so much Sarah this was awesome you did a great job and make sure you guys go down and watch everybody else's videos um, that are coming up and that have passed even because some of them are already out all the way up to Halloween and I have some other box swaps going on. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss those. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.